And obviously people in New York are very upset because they voted for her in a Democratic district. This is a district uh, that is overwhelmingly Democratic. They're running on Democratic line and they've cut deals so that they can caucus the Republicans to have larger offices, larger perks, staffs. And uh, finally people are really enraged because New York State should be one of the few remaining states that is democratically controlled and it is not. IDC equals GOP. IDC equals GOP. In terms of um, public school funding, we've been fighting for, for money that's been owed um, to public schools for over 10 years as a result of the campaign for fiscal equity. Um, and the IDC has blocked this funding from coming to our district's much needed money coming to black, brown, and poor communities around the state. So we're here to say, um, one, that the IDC has got to go, but also that they need to support our public schools at Marisol as a representative of Washington Heights, Marble Hill, um, districts that really need the money that she needs to fight for those kids um, and put children over politics. We are extremely disappointed in Mary Saul that she is working with the Republicans and she should be a Democrat. She has shown that she would sell her principles to run and that's why we're here. So this is Rise and Resist, which is uh, a group that uh, is fighting in many different ways, and, and one of the things that we're doing is we are fighting the IDC. Why do you think she would take such a bold action and, and join this this conference when so many people are paying attention? Sure, well she says that she did it because no one else would give her money. So like, no, no, that she says, for, you know, in order to, no one else would give her money to, to run, so if she didn't get the money from them, she wouldn't have won. And so then now she feels like once she's in office, she can fight, but you can't fight if there's nothing you can do. And now she's going along with everything the IDC is doing. So it's all, whether her intentions at one point maybe were naive and now they're not naive, right now she's going along with it. So, you know, your words are your words, but your actions are your actions. And her actions are stopping progressive legislation, even though that's what she had been fighting for. Basically at this point it's about perks, it's about a bigger office, it's about extra money, um, and it's about power. Senator Gennaris called me and my colleagues a Trump Republican. I would like to remind him that at the end of the day, he's a white man with a degree from Harvard. And I refuse to have him use his white privilege to, I am speaking, I have the floor now. I would like to know how many times my colleague has been called the n war or a speck. How many times has he been refused entry into any place? How many times has my colleague of any of his family members been stopping? Sir Flanagan, why do you rise? It says, uh, it says a lot that substantive criticisms are met with personal attacks in this chamber. I'm frustrated as heck with what's been allowed to happen here the last several years, and I am going to speak about it, and I'm going to speak loudly about it. And if someone wants to have a discussion on the merits and the substance of these proposals, let's have at it. I went to public schools. I went to the New York City public school system, PS84, Junior High School 141, Long Island City High School. The very schools that are being underfunded in this budget, 